Hey guys, it is the Bronx Hippie and I am back with another Food Force update. So let's go. Alrighty guys, it has been raining a lot. So there's like so many weeds everywhere. Like, but look, my hosta, it let off a flower. I'm so happy. My hosta let off a flower. I don't know what I was showing over there, sorry. But look at my hosta. It did it so cute and i didn't even show you guys i have another hosta two hostas at the end of this but i'm gonna show you guys somebody told me that this might be a herb i'm not sure i don't know what it is i see little flowers are coming in there but i don't know what this is i thought it was like a hollyhock or something like that but i'm wrong see look at all of these are gonna let out soon flowers this is gonna let out a flower soon too and we have our first flower look at it how pretty i think it's gorgeous and these are all gonna let out flowers soon these are dahlias i think really really pretty and then down here see look at oh more hostas this is a hosta. Oh, oh. This is a hosta. And then back there. Can't show you too much stuff. This is my little tray still with some stuff in it. I got some tomatoes, some peppers, some ground cherries. Um, look at it. This dahlia is going to open soon. I need to put that dolly in a bigger pot, probably like maybe in that one or something. The roses, I don't know what's wrong with these roses. They're like looking so, I don't know, I don't know if it's because it's been raining so much, it's been so cold, but they're letting off flowers. You can't see them right now just because it's been raining so much, like almost all of them have fallen off. Um, this opened, originally looked like this. I have a bajillion, you see those little bugs in there? Look at Look at how many aphids are everywhere. They're everywhere. The way to kill them, see the squash. It's so nasty, but that's the easiest way nature's paper towels, <laughs> the leaves. But that's the easiest way to kill them. I have to come here and I have to do that. I'm going to do that in a little while because I don't want my plants to die. Oh, you see him? He eats those. So he is doing his job. He's a friend. Alrighty. The fig tree. I want you guys to see them. Okay. That's a little figgy. Little figgy. Little figgy. And then there's a big fig somewhere over here. I don't know. Oh. The Brava, and I have another big one. I don't know where it went. I lost it. It's somewhere in there. But look, another little fig. I have a whole bunch of little figs. Ooh, so cute. See, I'm really happy with that. Um, as we walk this way, we have the blueberry patch. Oh, something ate the blueberries right off this. No, they were right here. They were right there. Oh no. Blueberries here. Blueberries here. That's so sad. That's so sad. I'm sad. I ate my blueberries. I didn't even need to try. Mm. Alright, on to the next thing. Yeah, this is the blueberries that are left. There. These are all growing in. Come this way. And we have the, where is it from? Greek, Greek oregano. It's looking good. It's actually looking really good. It's starting to already creep into this. So it's spreading. That's great. Wow, this got big. It's gonna let off thingies. This is lavender. I had called it rosemary the last time. Pissed myself off. But yeah, look at lavender. Um. Yeah, I didn't do anything with the broccoli. I'm going to pick this and I'm just going to give it to the chickies. The chickies. Um, this is my sugar plant, my stevia. It's like the best. I love it. 
You can eat it. It's one of those things. It's one of those things in the garden that when somebody comes by, you just get to be like, hey, hey, you want this? You want this little? You want this leaf? Look, try. Mm -hmm. It's like sugar. -ish. It's so sweet. It is really sweet. Like it's sugar. It's literally sugar in a plant. <laughs> But it's really concentrated. That was really, that was really sweet. That was like, really sweet. Ooh, my back. I just cracked my back. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's move on to the next thing. So right here, I have this type of succulent. It crawls. I don't know what it is. It is not an edible succulent. And then I have this also. All of this, this whole pile of, there's two different things growing here. My neighbor gave me both. I just stuck it there here I have like hollyhocks and I don't know what else growing here I just threw some seeds there and wishing for the best look at that lavender so pretty and more is popping up Alrighty, so that is hold on. that collard greens collard greens collard greens collard greens collard greens Collard, 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 broccoli. I have to chop that. And I use, because I also take the leaves and I use the leaves when I make collard greens. Um, let's see these heads over here. That's cabbage. 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 This is my like asparagus patch. I have to still, they fell down again. They just keep falling. And you know what? Just because this is the third time I've spoken about it, I'm taking the Pepsi can with me. Because I don't know how it got here, but it's not leaving anytime soon with me leaving it there. So this is the corn patch. I was going for like a Hopi style of growing corn. They just take corn, they put like six or seven in a thing, and bow, and it goes off. Um, those seeds obviously are like, have been cultivated for that type of growing conditions. These haven't but we're trying it anyways like see Look, see how many are growing from that one thing that's how I saw a Hopi lady growing on YouTube forgot her name but I like her channel that's uh, collard greens that's collard greens alrighty so let's see the chickens I think yeah Let's see the chickens. That's everything I showed you guys. Now, to the chickens. So today I brought these lovely ladies over, fresh new water. They tipped it over. Her huge, her huge. Any eggs? No, they knocked over their thing for their egg to lay their eggs in. Um, that had their food in it and they just backfilled it with dirt so yeah I got some work to do in there hi ladies hi chickies bye guys okay so now I'm gonna take you guys to the other side of the garden trying to get maybe a thumbnail here I'm trying to get a <laughs> Hit a little. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it looks so pretty. I hope I get a good thumbnail. <laughs> let's let's try this. That's the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. All right. Enough of wasting your time, guys. All right. So we're gonna start off on the right. Okay. So first things first. Look at how big the elderberry has gotten. Like, guys, y'all can't tell me y'all can't. Yeah, I can't see the growth like bro it's huge compared to the last time and then right next to it randomly I don't know why there's a fig tree growing here I think one of the cuttings from when I had chopped pieces of that during the winter time I guess I left one here and now I got a fig tree growing here I don't really want a fig tree growing here <laughs> got an elderberry but whatever. I'm gonna let that volunteer go. Why not? Um, let me. Alrighty. 
So that's my male kiwi. It's doing its thing. Doing its thing. This is all a kiwi going up. I'm so happy. At some point, I'm like gonna lose place of where it is, but that's it. And this is also one it took like a leap of faith and it sprawled across and balanced it. I mean, I gave it the leap of faith, I put it that way, but you know, leap of faith. Um, this is another kiwi, these are two key um, Ken's Reds kiwi that's a male pollinator right here. Um, you need a male to pollinate these females. One male can pollinate, I think up to like, I don't know, a lot of females. So, you're with one, you're good. Um, something pooped on my Ken's Red over there, but it happened. Look at how big these leaves went from like those. Bow, look at that. Crazy. Oh, and this is a plantain leaf. See? Look at how big this plantain got like you could take this if you chew it up and you put it on like a bug bite or something like that leave for 24 hours it will help so much um this is my pineapple mint it's like a variegated pineapple mint um doing pretty good i'm gonna take a little piece i want to doesn't smell extra pineapple-y just smells like mint won't lie hmm very interesting. All right, now over here, these are my Concord grapes. Starting to get some Grapeianas. Oh, it does not have the best pollination um, compared to my other grapes. Oh, this one is finally starting to get some, some length on it. So I'm gonna do this so that it could start like trying to wrap itself around things. Well, wrap itself around this. These are my grapes. If you would see the angle I got down for you guys. <laughs> and I think it looks so pretty. Like, look, all of the flowers are opening. I have to keep taking these and just, like, tucking them in there. Because I don't want like any part of the plant so I just don't want them the grapevine wrapping around the flowers I don't want the flowers to die I think they look so pretty and these were all flowers that were just stuck up against my fence line and they were getting no sun so they were never doing anything look at those are some big plantain leaves I just took down and put down as um ground cover they were all over here huge 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 um these are my honey berries. Right here's a honey berry. Right there is a honey berry. This is my King of the North grapevine. I got it because um, my nephew used to watch Game of Thrones. It was like before I had started watching it and I got it because in honor of like, I think the last season. I watched it during the last season. That was when I watched everything. Basically, I was in Home Depot. I seen that they had the King of the North grapes and I was like, you know what? Iconic, iconic. And then my nephew, he had a baby and he named her after the young savage. I'm gonna let you guys guess down in the comments below who was the most savage of them all because that is my great niece's name. Um, yeah, I'm, I know I'm somebody's great aunt, right? <laughs> Uh, let's go back to the garden. All right, so from this side, you can see more of the grapes. I just wanted to show. Look, it's like literally fully freaking loaded. I've never. So this is my um my peach tree. It got so big. I feel like in the first video, I was talking about how this peach tree, since it was small, it was gonna give other things a chance to grow around it. I didn't take account for how fast peach trees grow it's growing it's literally as big as it would have came if it would have um woken up the way it should have because i had to tip it off right here it was about up here but all of that didn't wake up it woke up down here but now look it's all the way up here the highest growth which is bigger than the tree was when it came in the box anyway so we're good. 
that's the rest of the Concord grape going up there. Oh, and that was the Himrod grape that I wrapped around the bottom there, just in case if I didn't say it. Um, right here is my Seckle pear tree doing its thing, doing its thing. It had some pears on it, they fell off, but it's doing its thing. And then it had a lot of leaves fall off, but they're growing back, so I'm happy. Like, I, at first I was a little nervous. Like, you see these? They were all bare like that. But now they're growing new, new leaves. I think it was because, like I had told you, the cats were peeing here. So I went and I got, like, a whole bunch of mulch and stuff like that. I let stuff like this stay to give it some ground cover. Planted some kale. Planted kale everywhere. I planted kale there and there. Just because kale is a perennial here, comes back every year. Um... I'm almost positive this is a blackberry now by looking at the flowers I think it's a blackberry if I would have known that I would have probably grown it right there because then I could have also arched it that way and I could have like blackberries and grapes growing across the same thing but once it sends up some runners then I can just pick them out and move them over there um see everything seems to be doing its thing that's a red raspberry, that's a red raspberry, that's a yellow raspberry, because in between there you don't see that there's two. That's a, so it's red, red, yellow, red, yellow, yellow, blackberry. <laughs> Here I have a raspberry and then I planted another raspberry. This is my persimmon tree. I had fruit here. It fell off. We had our first fruit drop right there. Um, the leaves are getting big. I'm happy with the growth that I'm seeing. So, keep doing your thing. Oh, and that's the biggest kale yet next to it. Look. And then these onions. Fun fact, these aren't even onions. These are garlic. But when you take this right here, these will be seeds. And I'm going to do it for you guys. Or is this open? See this right here? If you take these little pieces, if I could take it out but okay. see those you can garnish a salad with those they're really small they're like little tiny pieces of onion garlicky type of tasting but these are garlic when you pull them out you'll smell them you'll be able to peel them apart from each other they'll be in like three little clusters like a garlic would be smells great this is my lemon balm I called it bee balm a lot mm, last time this was a mulberry tree I had somewhere growing in here I don't know I tried to put it in this kiddie pool to see if I could grow a mulberry in it I'm losing my mind this is broccoli this is how broccoli looks when it goes to flower so this is past the point of eating this is my flower patch. I have one flower open right there. <laughs> Look at my my rogue asparagus. Do you guys see it? Look at it. Just tall, growing there. I'm letting them all fern out right now. Like if you see this, this is the asparagus. Because I have, oh, look at another little lone asparagus right there. Looking a little crooked. But you let them fern out. They use all their energy for after this. And they put it into their roots so that they can give you more asparagus next year. So let's continue on this way. I planted some kale here, some mint. And this is a tart cherry tree. These are the cherries that you would use for baking cherry pies. Not really for fresh eating. You can't eat them fresh, but they're a little, a little tart. And over here, we have my Italian plum tree. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Looking good. Looking good. Let me get a step back. To get, oh look at it! Look at it all tall. Yeah, that's it. 
so it's doing pretty good i don't really have any complaints with this i'm happy it's even letting off a new leaf on the top let's go all right so now we're gonna go to oh the another plum tree and then the pawpaws so all right so this is my santa rosa plum it was a lot taller i always say that in every video but it got got bing bang bonged it's doing its thing it's letting out little flowers here i mean letting out little new leaves here and there hopefully there's no deficiencies it probably maybe it's too much rain it's been raining a lot i don't know but i'll keep my eye on that yellow spot and now oh look it this was the raspberry i planted here it's doing really good i'm proud of it now look look at my damn ball ball i'm so proud of it man like it's like it's like it's like doing it you know it's like it's doing it i need to move this chair because i don't want it to grow up against it and look weird but it's doing it like look at all that look at that green i'm so proud of that green oh oh my gosh so proud all right now this one look at it it's doing its thing too it's waking up like like wow i'm so amazed at all of the growth like you go glen coco you go another little thing of kale i planted And then this is my honey crisp apple tree. I come here like every day and I go like this and I kill off any new little buggies, like those yellow ones, but these usually here are green, sometimes black. And I just come and I kill them so that they don't suck all of the green out of the leaves. Um, this is my pear tree. It is a barlet pear tree. I do the same thing to it just to make sure that there's no little buggies on it and i hit it with a little one two one two it's doing really good it has new growth all along it so i'm very proud here is my paw paw i'm so 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 entertained by their growth like wow look at them go these paw paws were bought at walmart well on walmart.com by some vendor who sends their stuff on walmart but yep this leaf was getting a little burned. I have to come and I have to do so much weeding. It rained so much. It rained so much. It's just weeds everywhere. This is my other grass bear I have growing here. It's growing good. Oh no, I have so much morning glory everywhere. I don't, I can't stand it. No morning glory. If you let morning glory grow, it wraps around everything it's very beautiful i will not lie i don't think i see any more <laughs> thankfully because this plant will wrap around everything and it just does it so fast this is my fig tree i'm so proud of it here um i put this fig tree here just because this is a big block of like cement rock mixture and there's not really much that i can try and grow here like things grow here as you can see more morning glory more just so much of its glory but i don't need that i don't need that type of negativity in my garden right now and a tree is trying to grow here but that's what i want so i put that there i think that's gonna be lovely I have to come in with the weed whacker gotta get to whacking gotta cut all this back it's gonna look nice though in the next video all the flowers are starting to open up so i'm really really proud i'm very happy my growers pride is showing i think everything looks so pretty like it's just gonna keep looking nicer um <laughs> this is my little kale pot from the last video and i stuck a shallot in there so it's growing a new green top um <laughs> Now let's go back this way because I didn't get to show you guys. Oh, I didn't show you guys the Josta berry right here. So right here we have a Josta berry. I'm going to take out that weed next to it so that you can really see it. So this is a Josta berry. Oh, this is all new growth right here. That's really good. 
really good. So that's the Jasta Berry. This is the Jujube tree. A Jujube fruit basically tastes like a mild apple, but you can let it dry on the tree and then it tastes very, very sweet, but the texture completely changes, everyone says. So, alrighty, so we have more lemon balm here. We have another raspberry here. More lemon balm of weed. This is a Jean Gooseberry. All of this right here, Jean Gooseberry. Right here we have a Jasta Berry. And here we have another Jasta Berry. And right here, behind the Jasta Berry, we have another Jean Gooseberry. Okay, just so you guys can see some of the strawberries while they're white. Look. They still look so pretty, don't they? A lot of the strawberries right now don't taste too good. It's been raining. They're super, super watery. Like, not the sweetest. But... I was okay. But I know they taste so much better. It just has rained so much. Wow, that left my mouth really watery. Okay. So right now, we're at the strawberry patch. We're at the strawberry patch. Got another strawberry. Strawberry patch, that's my goji berry. I don't like goji berries. They taste like little, little wrong peppers. I don't like them. They're literally like that big. They're red. And when you pop them in your mouth, it tastes like baby bell pepper. But like with a lot of seeds. It's like a wrong tomato. It's like the cousin of the... It's like if a tomato and a pepper had a baby. That's exactly what it is. And I don't, I don't like that. I think that's, that's not what I want in life. What I want in life... More strawberries. Did you guys hear that crow? I've been doing that for three days. Just going up in my sycamore tree. Caw, 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 caw. Like, buddy, what's wrong? Do you need help? I'll help you. All right. So this is the asparagus fern, how it's looking right now. That's one that grew. I'm just letting them get, what do you call it right now? Just basically, um brown up and die and then i'm going to cut them back because it's sending energy down to the roots like i already told you guys all right another cool thing i get to show you guys you see these these you see how it's like getting little roots this comes from strawberry these are strawberry runners that's what they're called they're runners they're track stars when you take them and you see how it's like letting out a little flower there and you put that in the dirt wherever that touches it's going to now lay down a strawberry. So, see how I wrapped it and I put it in the dirt there and there and there. So hopefully, I'll get some strawberries there soon. Alrighty. This is my variegated sage. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can see it. I need to move some stuff out the way for it. Well, that's a big strawberry. Look at that. But it's been eaten. No, I gotta give that to the chickens. So, let me leave that there. I can give that to the chickens. Look at it. It's already gotten so big. But that's my variegated sage. It's like... I think it's so pretty. If you could just smell what it's like to sit. Look at that. That's like my sea of sage. And then my variegated sage. Look at how little it is. I'm going to be taking some. And making my little smudge sticks. So that's going to be a very good time. I love to do that. It always brings such good vibes in my house. And I like growing my own sage. When I tell you I feel the difference 
in the spaces I clean with this sage versus a bought sage. I'm, it's very, very, very true. When you grow it yourself, it just has a different type of, like... It has like a different type of power for you. It just works for you in a way that it would not work if you bought it. And that is a fact. Well, alrighty guys. I think I showed you guys just about everything. Like this is more of the flowers. Um, that's how the grapes look growing across the thing from this side. That's where I keep my water <laughs> that I collect gotta move these ferns again oh, duh, duh, duh. <sighs> yeah I'm really proud of my garden and how it looks and how it's growing I'm very very proud okay guys so I hope that you enjoyed the video and pull up to my garden anytime you already know we are friends you are friends of the garden so yes pull up to my garden anytime watch the videos see the growth i hope you have a great growing season and i will be back with another one bye